so good afternoon uh, students i welcome you all for this session so today we'll going to solve one more problem okay uh, to calculate the short term deflection the problem is like this a simply supported beam of rectangular section 250 mm wide and 450 mm overall depth this is capital d this is width of beam small b is used over an effective span l equal to 4 meter span equal to 4 meter the beam is reinforced with three bars that is three bars of 20 mm diameter fe415 hyst bars that is grade of steel at an effective depth of so effective depth of the beam will be small d will be 400 mm the self weight of the beam together with dead load on the beam is 4 kN per meter and service live load is 10 kN per meter so using m20 grade concrete calculate the short term deflection so this is a cross section of the beam so b is equal to 250 mm overall depth capital d is equal to 450 mm effective depth small d is equal to 400 mm then span of the beam l is equal to 4 meter okay then steel three bars of 20 mm diameter therefore area of steel ast is equal to 3 into pi by 4 diameter square so that is 3 into pi by 4 20 square so this is 942 mm square area of steel is equal to 942 mm square so fck is 20 newton per mm square and fo is equal to 415 newton per mm square now it is given self weight of the beam okay so own weight of the beam together with dead load so self weight plus dead load is 4 kN per meter and live load is 10 kN per meter so live load on the beam is 10 kN so total load is 14 kN per meter this is in the form of udl so this total load will be small w 14 kN per meter now you, we need to calculate the short term deflection that is for simply supported beam subjected to udl okay for simply supported beam subjected to udl throughout the span complete span the maximum deflection that is also called as short term deflection is given by ai that is this is the denotation of short term deflection ai permissible is equal to 5 by 384 into wl is to 4 divided by ei already we know this formula okay in table table number 1 okay so 5 by 384 into wl is to 4 divided by ei so write this equation number 1 so in this equation w is known l is known we need to calculate e and i okay so what is e so e is equal to also known as ec that is short term modulus of elasticity of concrete so capital e indicates young's modulus of elasticity of concrete so e is equal to ec how will calculate ec ec is equal to 5000 root fck okay 5000 root fck so that is 5000 into root 20 so this is 22360.68 newton per mm square okay then uh, in that formula this i okay moment of inertia so moment of inertia i is equal to i effective okay i effective that is effective moment of inertia effective moment of inertia and this will be calculated using this formula that is ir divided by 1.2 minus mr by m z by d into bracket 1 minus x by d into b w by b so this is equal to 1 so for rectangular beam this bw by b is equal to 1 so in this equation we need to find out mr m ir z x okay so what is this m m is the maximum bending moment at service load so for simply supported beam subjected to udl okay throughout the span maximum bending moment at the center so for simply supported beam with udl maximum bending moment at the center is given by m is equal to wl square by 8 okay w is total udl that is 
into L span is 4 square divided by 8. So, this is 28 kilo Newton meter. So, that is 28 into 10 to the power of 6 kilo Newton to Newton meter to millimeter. So, this is M. This M we have calculated. Next, this MR. We will calculate MR. That is called as cracking moment. MR is equal to cracking moment. So, therefore, MR is equal to FCR into IGR divided by YT. So, using this formula, we will calculate this MR. So, what is FCR? FCR is nothing but tensile strength of concrete. Tensile strength of concrete FCR is equal to 0 0.7 into root FCK. Okay? 0 0.7 into root FCK. So, that is 0 0.7 into root 20. 0 0.7 into root 20. So, therefore, FCR is equal to 3.13 Newton per mm square. FCR is equal to 3.13 Newton per mm square. Then calculate IGR. What is IGR? IGR equal to moment of inertia of gross section. I indicates moment of inertia. GR indicates gross section. So, IGR is equal to moment of inertia of gross section that is given by BDQ by 12. So, IGR is equal to BDQ by 12. So, that is okay. So, 250 into 450 cube B is 250 and capital D overall depth 450 cube divided by 12. So, IGR is equal to 18.98 into 10 raised to 8. 18.98 into 10 raised to 8 mm raised to 4. This is IGR. So, FCR, IGR, then this YT. So, what is YT? YT is nothing but distance of extreme tensile fiber from centroid of cross section. Now, see. If you see the cross section, so this is a total cross section from the bottom. This is a tensile fiber. Here maximum tensile stress will be there. Here maximum compression stress will be there. So this is the tensile fiber, maximum tensile fiber. From this to this centroid of this. So total D divided by 2 will be this YT. So YT is equal to capital D divided by 2. That is 450 divided by that is 225 mm. So, therefore, cracking moment MR is equal to FCR into IGR divided by YT. Okay. So, substitute value FCR and uh, this is IGR divided by 225. We will get cracking moment MR is equal to 26 into 10 to the power of 6 Newton millimeter. Okay. MR is equal to 26 into 10 to the power of 6 Newton mm. Then uh, in this equation, see, we have calculated m, we have calculated mr, next we will calculate ir. Okay, what is ir? ir is equal to this formula moment of inertia of cracked section, moment of inertia of cracked section, that is ir is equal to bx cube divided by 3 plus m a s t d minus x square okay bx cube by 3 plus m a s t d minus x square so b is known okay a s t is known first we will find out x okay x will going to find out and m we will going to find out what is m m is modular ratio small m it is m is equal to modular ratio this is nothing but Young's modulus of steel divided by Young's modulus of concrete that is ES upon EC. So, for steel Young's modulus is 2 into 10 raise to 5. This is fixed even in, in the problem if, if it is not given normally it will, it will not be given. So, for steel Young's modulus is 2 into 10 raise to 5 Newton per mm square. Then Young's modulus of concrete already we have calculated EC it is 2 to 360. So, this M will be 13. Modular ratio 13. It is a ratio. Okay. No unit. Modular ratio M small m is equal to 13. Now, next we will find out X. Okay. So, what is X? X is equal to 
depth of neutral axis okay depth of neutral axis from compression flange that is from the top to the neutral axis that is called as x and it is calculated as b x square by 2 b x square by 2 then m a s t m a s t into d minus x okay using this formula we can calculate x so that is b is 250 into x square by 2 into m is 13 modular ratio est 942 into d effective depth 400 minus x so this will get you will going to get the quadratic equation and after solving this quadratic equation so neutral axis depth x is equal to 155 mm so in the previous problem also you have solved this please refer that procedure so x 155 mm okay so therefore substitute this m and x here so calculate ir so ir is equal to bx cube by 3 plus m ast into d minus x whole square okay so ir is equal to b 250 x cube divided by 3 plus m 13 ast into d minus x square so we will get cracked moment of inertia ir is equal to cracking moment of inertia 10.45 into 10 raised to 8 mm raised to 4 ok now liver arm liver arm z is equal to what d minus x by 3 d minus x by 3 so d is effective depth so x is 155 so 400 minus 155 by 3 so liver arm will be 348.34 mm 348.34 mm ok so now for rectangular beam bw by b is equal to 1 ok so therefore equation 1 becomes see this equation now here so in this equation we have calculated ir we have calculated mr we have calculated m z is calculated this x is calculated and this term is 1 calculate all the values and find out this i effective substitute all the values find out i effective so substitute values then uh, effective moment of inertia i is moment of inertia effective effective moment of inertia is equal to 14.93 into 10 to the power of 8 mm raised to 4 ok 14.93 into 10 raised to 8 mm raised to 4 ok and uh, this whatever i effective you have calculated this should be greater than ir greater than this value and less than IGR in the previous case we have calculated this IGR this value IGR ok see that whatever this I effective we have calculated this should be more than IR and less than IGR so see here this is 14.93 into 10 raised to 8 this is greater than 10.45 into 10 raised to 8 less than 18 point this since it is ok last so maximum short term deflection equation number one formula so ai permissible that is short term deflection is equal to 5 by 384 into wl less to 4 divided by ei so e is ec i is this i effective okay so substitute the values then uh, short term deflection will be 1.89 short term deflection will be 1.89 ok so this is 1.39 so this is what the required calculation so I hope you understood this problem solve once again so these two problems uh, and uh, if you have any doubt please ask me so this is an important question for your exam point of view so we are going to get the problems like this and they are going to ask find out the short term deflection ok so in the next class we will going to see next is how to calculate long term deflection now ok so this is these two problems are for short term deflection in the next class we will going to see how the long term deflection will be calculated ok so thank you very much for attending this class if you have any doubts 
so please uh, feel free to ask me okay thank you